Hey guys, so for this video I'm just going to be going over the trailer quickly, watching it, giving my comments on it and some thoughts on it and also analysing a little bit. So yeah, first of all we see another dead Fire Emblem mum right at the start, classic, so I guess this is a flashback of Alea. When your scattered memories return to you, you must fight on with the utmost divinity. So this dragon here seems like it'll be the little dragon girl, is my guess. Um, the one that kind of looks bird-like with the purple eyes, but we'll have to see. I believe in you, my child. I understand. I'll collect the rings. I swear to you. And I'll fight. I'll do whatever you want. So clearly you have to collect all of the 12 rings to, you know, defeat the fell dragon or whatever, something like that. So it's similar to Awakening, getting all five gemstones to defeat the fell dragon. Help me. Lend me your strength in this fight. I am known as Marth. Emblem Marth. So we see Marth again, and he announces himself like James Bond for some reason. Marth, Emblem Marth. I was able to answer your call because you remembered me. But then... A dark presence emerged. Sombron. So this guy's clearly the main big bad boss, that what dude. Was I like? Well, you were kind, as you are now. There's no need to remember everything at once. So that's kind of Mark hinting to Alir having some kind of, you know, messed up past. Um, the fact that he doesn't want him to remember it. And I'll talk about that later because there's another shot which really, you know, shows some of that. See Alfred on the cab. Will you help us? And here we see Celine again, looking great. Please come with me to Firine. Some shots of took some doing. So we have these three new characters. I honestly love the design of all three of them. They're three of the best they've done. That girl on the left kind of looks like the girl from the shop. I can't exactly remember her name. Apologies. Um, but she looks pretty good. And then I really like the girl in the middle. She looks awesome. Uh, I'd like her just clothing in general and that sword looks pretty badass too and then we've got this archer guy on the right who looks a bit like Felix as an archer he looks a bit edgy as well but I do like his design I think it's pretty cool and I like the colouring and all three of them look pretty sweet he's an ambitious man Brodia the kingdom of might so this guy is clearly the prince I would imagine of Brodia the kingdom of might as it's called um, so we can get a shot of him here I greet you as the crown prince of Brodia. So, yeah, here he is. He looks pretty cool. I do like him. He's got very nice design. They've got a very, like, black and red colour scheme going on here. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Fyrne. I hope you're hungry for fun, because... So here's the dancer girl from the trailer. She's from a place called Sohm, which is kind of like the desert place. And obviously she looks great and seems like a really fun character. So it'll be really nice to see more of her. Um, and she's clearly cooking up some kind of food for the gang or something when you're partied up with them. That's what's on the menu first! Lucky we met, huh? And this is probably her brother, I imagine, um, or of some relation. And he looks like a kind of more over-the-top Claude, and he looks great. I love him. He looks pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to seeing more of this uh, nation. They look great. I take it and this is the battle we saw in the original right. trailer. We know it's snowy there with long winters and that some illusions. So we're talking about the kingdom of Elusia, a new one, Elusia, however you want to say it. And um, they're clearly kind of the bad guys. They're kind of like Pledger in a way. They're the kind of nation which may not necessarily be bad, but they've got people there trying to summon the Fell Dragon. And also, I'd say Brodia kind of reminds me of uh, Regan of Ferox um, because they have their kind of like a warrior race as well with this kind of proud looking king guy like Basilio so yeah uh, a lot of awakening parallels and here's some kind of altar to summon um, the fell dragon and there's four little things on the side which may be related to some characters we're about to see in a second and we see those two down there one being this very strangely outfitted like candy shop mascot looking girl I don't know what's going on with her design to be honest it's kooky I guess um, and her and the evil guy were kind of talking to Alir and the gang there. 
I don't know who that girl on the right is, um, or guy, but we've got, yeah, the lead of Bodia, Alfred, Alea, Marth, and someone else, and they're talking to these two, so it seems like it's, again, similar to Awakening, where you go to Pleasure and kind of chat with them in a friendly way, um, like when you talk to Validar and Aversa, so it's kind of a similar situation, because he's trying to summon the Fell Dragon, and she's a little sidekick, um, so there seems to be something going on with that. I like the designs of these two in the back quite a lot. Uh, the girl on the left looks great. I really like her. And the one on the right, I, I actually do quite like quite a lot. I think some people might not, but I, I like it. I hope that they all don't have the exact same face like we've seen of it. But so, And we see the guy from behind, the Felix guy, and he looks really good. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with her. This is the classic Wyvern girl. Uh, Camilla fans rejoice. She looks pretty good. Um, and yeah, I like her design. Uh, she seems pretty cool, and as we've seen, she's probably going to join the party later uh, for some reason or another. Um, she'll have a change of heart or whatever's going on. She'll see things clearly because we saw her fighting kind of with Alea in the original trailer. I will now take your lives, your souls, and the rings. A bit of Tharja mixed with Camilla or something, huh? But maybe, hopefully, less simping. It's not yet at full strength. Okay, so here we see, so I'll go back, we see the kind of priest evil guy with the big bad boss evil guy. So I assume he's going to either turn into Grima, or, sorry, not Grima, the Fell Dragon, um, or I forget, I think they mentioned their name here somewhere. Um, so yeah, there's that guy and that guy, so clearly he's bowing down to him, he's doing his bidding. He is not yet at full strength. And yeah, he's going to be at full strength. So this is this guy we saw in the original trailer as well. I've got a feeling he's the king of Bodia and he's kind of gone to Elusia to kind of do some kind of deal. He thinks he can get power or something from these guys who are trying to worship and summon the Fell Dragon. And then he's kind of feels like he's being tricked here. So maybe he'll become like a fallen baddie. Um, here's, yeah, and they're fighting off against some mage. You give me Robin vibes. Um, little hooded character. We don't know who they are. And yeah, they have... So it seems that these emblem rings can be corrupted, as we'll see in a second. Isn't this tragic? So he's got these four, who I was kind of saying, talking about in the uh, little ritual summoning thing that it looked like. They might have something to do with that, but they are probably going to be four mini-bosses that will fight throughout the game, and maybe we'll get an emblem ring each from one of them. I have to say their designs are kind of weird however let me say this the guy on the on the right we do know that you can support him because in the leaks previously we saw him uh with support options uh with a list of cba support with the lair so clearly he's going to join i don't know if the other three will maybe they will so possibly they're under influence of some kind of you know corrupting spell and that'll be brought back onto the good side or you know we don't know by virtue of your sight Yes, they're, they're interesting looking characters. And this is clearly female Dimitri. Kill every last one of them. I detest violence, but yeah, I will okay, so there's Roy fighting alongside um, the Prince of Brodia. Uh, uh, so this is a fight scene we've kind of seen before in the original trailer, but we've got some new clips of it. Um, so yeah, there's a nice little shot of Roy there. Salika the again. you got to love her. How can you not? They... So that's the um, little dragon girl using magic. So I imagine we'll meet her early on. She'll save Alir uh, while we're in Firenze, um because you can see the Firene background here and she's come out from behind a tree. This guy's ambushing Alir or something and she saves him. I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. So, and then we see uh, Celine and Louis there. Um, uh, he's defending her or something, so maybe that's when he joins. Those two will probably join together. At the same time to protect Celine. Yeah, Chloe and Louis. This girl is probably my favourite out of the ones, the new ones in this trailer. I think she looks great. I don't know what's going on with the stars in her hair, but I do honestly kind of like it weirdly because normally that kind of stuff I think is weird, but it looks really adorable and I like the colour scheme they've gone for and she looks pretty cool, like a little friendly dark mage. Uh, then we have this knight and she looks pretty cool as well. I like her. Um... She reminds me of the uh, original border guard from uh, Regina Felix as well in Awakening, but I can't remember her name exactly. Despite every then we have Alir and Marth just fighting together. Facing. Then we see these two 
who I think might be some kind of mercenary duo, or they could be uh, retainers to someone in um, Sohm, uh, the desert place. So clearly you're going to meet them there. It might be similar to how you meet Gregor and Noe uh, in Awakening as well. So another Awakening parallel, but we'll see. I don't know. They could be retainers or, or, or mercenaries, or I don't know. We'll see. They've kind of got more fancy outfits than mercenaries, though. I can't. So we see um, the girl princess from Sohm fighting with Ike, um, and they look pretty great just fighting. I see a bit of Ike there. And then um, Alfred fighting with Lucina. So clearly you're going to get these rings after fighting people with a corrupted version of them. Then they'll join your side. Um, we are not going anywhere. Alira and Marth just running we together. We remain by your side until the end of this journey. You silly divine dragon. Did you think emblem... So here, I feel like he looks like he's losing control here. He's lying on the floor like in shock. Maybe he's just like, wow, I actually summoned a... Fell dragon, but it kind of looks like he's lost control of the situation. Like he's regretting what he's done, or he knows that he's going to be killed by because of this, or something like that. So this dark uh, priest guy seems more like a tool than any kind of major threat. Um, so here's just more of him corrupting a sword, and he seems to be in possession of Lin's ring, and she's using a bow. However, she will be able to wield multiple weapons, so she'll be able to use her sword as well. Okay, so here's Lucina corrupted with uh, the candy cane girl um, and they're going to be fighting a little. And I imagine after this battle, you will get the Lucina ring and possibly recruit this girl, but I maybe not. We'll have to see. Then there's this guy putting on a corrupted emblem ring and it seems to be Mars, maybe. Um, I don't think that is Mars, but he's putting on a ring and Marth is being converted and for some reason... Your hair goes red, so I don't know what's going to happen to Roy. Maybe he's never corrupted. He's incorruptible. Oh, oops. So here's a layer with red hair. And then we'll see a shot now of Marth's ring, I think that is. And then, yeah, there's a layer looking very evil there. Um, did you get a shot of that? Oh. Um, so this might be what happened in the past before Alir, uh, you know, went to sleep for however long, uh, thousands of years, whatever. So maybe he took part in killing his people because this guy says everyone you know uh, is dead. dead. Yeah, everyone you know, is, they're all dead. So possibly Alir has something to do with that and that's why Marth doesn't want him to remember his past. But yeah, pretty good trailer overall. I like this one a lot more than the original one, I have to say. A lot of good information. Let me know what you guys think. And I will be making some stuff talking about possibilities for the game and whatnot. Um, and yeah, just watching what other people have to say. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.